Hello everyone, welcome to EGRA platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the over voltages protection in the converter station. So that is kind of last topic which we are actually discussing for uh, this uh, chapter. So let's uh, study for uh, some of the points which I have included here. <music> For a system with the two 12 pulse converter per pole, so there are the 40 arresters per pole. So if we are talking about the 12 pulse converters, then we are going to have the per pole, we will have the 40 arresters we will have. Okay. Now, the arresters are selected with the adequate energy dissipation capabilities and which vary with the location of the arresters and which vary with the location of the arresters for example the wall arrestor protecting the commutation groups we are having the two types of commutation groups the positive commutations numbered 135 and the negative commutation numbered 462 so the wall arresters protecting the commutation group at the highest potential and can be subjected to the higher energies than other arresters when the ground fault occurs between the wall okay it will occur between the wall and the converter transformer and that is in the upper bridge upper bridge in the sense if we are talking about the 12 plus 12 pulse bridge if we are talking about the 12 pulse bridge then it is going to have the 6 pulse bridge here and will be in the series with the another six pulse bridge here okay guys so like that so it is talking about the upper bridge so uh arresters uh, when the ground fault occurs whenever the there is a chances of the falls occurring in the ground okay ground falls occurs that is actually not detectable easily okay so uh, fault occurs the between the wall and the converter transformer in the upper bridge this is due to the discharge of the line and the, this is due to the discharge of the line and discharge of the line in the sense uh, uh, actually there will be a carry carry of the charges and uh, the discharge will take place and the discharge is kind of from the line and the dc filters also now the closing of the bypass switch we are using the bypass switch i will uh, show you in the diagram also so bypass switch across the converter one second across the converter results in increasing the dc voltage across the remaining converter so if you are using the bypass switch okay and that is in the closed condition what will happen so uh, it the it will affect the other converter and how it is going to be affected the converter that the dc voltage is going to be uh, increase in the remaining converter now this is the basic uh, diagram uh, which i have uh, taken for you that these are the this uh, thing these are the star star and the star delta star star and the star delta this is called your six thyristors or you can the six pulse bridge and upper six pulse bridge and this is the lower pulse bridge this is the ac bus arresters okay and uh, these are called the AC filter arresters and the AC reactor arresters. So these are connected like here. This is the neutral arresters. This is the neutral arresters. This filter now, this will go up to here, and these are the kind of uh, your thyristors are connected. Okay, thyristor, you can say the bridges are connected. Converter unit arrestor, this kind of uh, system is connected here. Now this will our DC system, DC transmission, and here the DC transmission, the DC re reactor will have the DC reactor arrestor, or the filter will have the DC uh, filter arrestor, or so kind of like this. And at the midpoint, this is the midpoint DC bus arrestor. So all in all, you can understand that the each and every equipment is connected with a uh, arrestor which is connected in parallel. So I hope you have understood all these concepts related with this. Thank you so much.